Hi, we're at Inlit Europe, and we are talking about energy efficiency in smart buildings with Pascal Torres, CEO of Anolio. Welcome, Pascal. Thank you. Nice to see you. So you. we live in an age of ultra connection, ultra monitoring, and continuous exposure to information and data. And that includes our buildings. But the question is, is all that data being used correctly? The problem is that uh, too much information can kill information. Yeah. And this is what we, uh, we see uh, when we speak about managing building is that we have a lot of information that comes from the BMS, but operators uh, cannot very deal um, uh, and um, uh, understand really what happens just looking at those information. So that's, what, uh, that's why is it, uh, it is interesting to have um, another uh, level of analysis yeah. that can uh, bring information together uh, like a systemic um, uh, system and make objects to better understand what happens and to help uh, people to, to take a better decision uh, in these uh, technical actions. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, hypervision, that's the name of your. Tell me more about how hypervision helps building operators. Yes, so hypervision helps operators to uh, understand really what happens and in which way they have to. Uh, uh, to, to, to make decisions, to change some set points, and to manage all the, the building equipment, all the, technic the technical equipment they have in the, in the building. So to help them to achieve this, uh, this result, um, Hypervision provides simple dashboards. Hmm. But um, simple uh, dashboard, it's very difficult to do. Uh, hmm. So this is the, 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 the objective of the, um, of the Hypervision is to get all the informations, to put them, uh, to, to have correlation between those information and to provide simple dashboards to the operators uh, in the, to, 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 to permit them to have better analysis of what happens in real time and take the good decision. Yeah, so, so important today. Yeah. Um, so how does this impact smart cities? Uh, hypervision can help, uh, is, a, is a real help for smart cities because uh, when we speak about uh, systemic system, uh, uh, systemic equipment, uh, that uh, we, we speak about also self-learning. And so we can anticipate what will happen in this building, especially uh, about uh, energy consumption. And so those information can be interesting uh, for smart cities, smart grids, mm, and sure. help to better understand what will be the energy consumption and maybe adjust uh, the consumption or the, the way to use energy in the building. Yeah, very, very cool. Well, thanks so much for your insights, Pascal. Thank you. Nice to see you. And for more energy insights, you can check out the Enlit online community.